More than 70 million people in the United States go to the movies each week to get away from their cares and to find entertainment. Some Americans are finally able to go back to the movies with many new caveats. Struggling theater chains have scrambled to implement new rules and new technology to get moviegoers safely back in their seats. Say, Kay, next Friday, would you like to see Wagon Train at the movies? But experts have long known COVID-19 spreads more easily indoors and can often be the source of outbreaks. So, is it safe to go back to movie theaters again? Here's what we know. It wouldn't be something I would go out and recommend. What I can say is this, it, it all depends on how it's done. Social distancing is vital. Movie theaters have to abide by state and local guidelines, which often require masks. AMC, for one, is limiting all theaters' capacity to 40% or less, and, in many cases, blocking every other row. But even with these measures in place, experts say to avoid movie theaters if your community has a high number of cases. How much spread is in the community is essential. If you are in Georgia at case rates of 30 per 100,000, Florida, some counties, case rates of 50 per 100,000, I'm sorry, I enjoy the movies. You got no business going to the movies in those places. So first you really need to make sure that you're not swimming in a sea of COVID before you start going to the movies. Some health experts do argue that the nature of movie going could potentially limit the spread of the virus compared to say, eating out at a restaurant. In a theater, everyone is facing the same direction rather than each other, and they aren't talking. That could limit the spread of airborne particles from one person to another especially if everyone is wearing a mask. But what about snacks? We can't eat popcorn and be masked. They're just simply mutually exclusive. If you are touching something and then putting popcorn in your mouth, that just is a bad idea. That could spell trouble for movie theater chains, given the high profit margin they stand to make on concessions. As for air quality, experts say air filtration is becoming increasingly important as growing evidence points to the significant role airborne particles play in spreading the virus. Theaters, like AMC, have said they're upgrading their system's air filters. We actually know that there's not a lot of transmission that happens on an airplane. So if you kind of think of a movie theater like an airplane, are they exchanging the air very, very frequently, which happens on an airplane? I know they've done a lot to try and improve the filters. How is the ventilation? How often is that air being exchanged in that room? Because if it's not being exchanged very, very often, the way they are in planes, then that's probably a problem. Behind the scenes, movie chains say they'll be increasing their cleaning procedures sometimes cleaning theaters between each showing. Here's what you can expect when you arrive. But according to AMC's CEO, the cost of these additional safety measures will likely be passed on to moviegoers in the form of higher ticket or concession prices. That's a problem when movie studios are beginning to skip the theaters and release certain movies directly to consumers streaming from the safety of their own home. For theaters, the pandemic's prolonged shutdowns means some chains could be facing bankruptcy so the stakes couldn't be higher. We'll get there. It wouldn't be my first choice of things to do. I'm just sad to say I can't endorse it right now. <laughs>